it's kind of a, it's a bit of a blowout report if you look at it at its face, not, not to mention the fact that you go back um, prior months and you take a look at the revisions uh, to the upside uh, when it comes to this. And also um, you're seeing as well uh, in the report that a lot of the hospitality and service jobs uh, were very, very strong. And this is all in the face of what was happening with Omicron. So I, I'm going to be honest, I'm very, very skeptical. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm out and about and I, I travel for work and I'm here, there and everywhere. And there's help wanted signs everywhere in certain areas of the country, major metropolitan areas. It's still, uh, you know, pretty much dead as far as restaurants are concerned. So again, I'm a little skeptical of this report. Uh, I think we're gonna have to wait a little bit further on just to see exactly what took place. However, it is somewhat uh, encouraging. Uh, I do think that we still need to uh, get more people back into the labor force. Labor force participation number was strong in this one. But again, um, I, I have to see the work. I have to see a little bit more uh, before I'm fully confident because again, I, I can look around like everybody else uh, can and, and kind of see the forest for the trees. I'll, I'll admit I was a bit skeptical too, mostly because the expectations were so low compared to the actual number. Even the White House this week was uh, sort of bracing for the worst in terms of what we were expecting from this jobs report. Um, why do you think that the expectations were so low? Was it because of the Omicron variant? Was it because uh, you know it's right after the holidays? What do you think was going into uh, that low expectation? We, we also had the ADP number that came out this past week, which which was very weak. And of course, uh, you know, it was the, the you know the, the Omicron and people uh, not you know going to work and calling in sick and, and all of these things that could add to it. So I'm, I'm going to go back to like my elementary school and middle school and high school math teacher where you had to show your work on your math problems. I, I've got to see a little bit more, uh, quite frankly, because I can see with my own eyes around me what the situation is on the ground. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. I uh, also wanted to talk about that ADP number uh, that came out showing a loss of 301,000 jobs in January. What is the significance of that job loss and how do you think uh, the next couple of months could play out? Well, again, that was chalked up a lot, they said, due to Omicron and people calling in sick and, and a myriad of other things. Um, again, I think this is a hump that we're going to have to get over um, in, in many ways to get more people back into the labor force. And I think we have to start uh, thinking about solutions uh, to this problem. Now, again, um, the, the, the child tax credit is now gone. Uh, so, again, that's that's a, a, a check that people are getting every single month that the, certain people are going to be getting every single month that they're not going to be getting anymore. So hopefully that will push uh, more people back into the labor force. Uh, but I, I think if you really want to see the economy take off and get things back to the world, I think we have to give incentives to senior citizens, maybe to get them to come back and, and work. Maybe even if it's three days a week, uh, it would be very beneficial. Something else. Uh just one last thing I wanted to ask you about um, were these reports of the strong economic growth we saw in 2021. Uh, Reuters was reporting that the economy grew 5.7% in 2021, the strongest since 1984. Do you think we're on track to see that record growth again in 2022? Or do you think we, you know, you talked about sort of hitting a wall in previous interviews. Do you think we might hit a wall again? Well, again, you have to also understand where we were coming from. So, of course, you're going to see we had you know shutdowns and uh, everything that took place in 2020, and the economy slows to crawl. You're expected to, to get some sort of bounce back. So, no, I, I don't expect to see economic growth anywhere near those numbers uh, in this year.